So do we have other foods that can cut off the blood supply if we look at it through the lens of like breast cancer or yeah, ovarian I mean, cancer or cervical cancer? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a long laundry list. Um, ah, nice. I, I wrote all, I, I created the list of foods in my book, Eat to Beat Disease. Anybody right. who wants to get a laundry list of foods that can cut off the blood supply to cancer, it's in my book. And I talk about them all the time. So if you come to my YouTube the channel or you go to my master classes, you'll actually hear me talk about them quite frequently, but I will tell you some of them. All right. I'll just give you a, a sampling of them. Tom yeah, tomatoes. Let's throw out the myth about nightshades and lectins. All right. Tree nuts, walnuts, pistachios, almonds, macadamias, pine nuts. They also lower the risk and they can also cut off the blood supply of cancer. We're also talking about the brassica vegetable family. Yes. So we're talking about not just broccoli, but the regular broccoli. Broccoli, we're talking about even turnips, which are part of the brassica mm. family, all have sulforaphanes that cut off the blood supply feeding yeah. cancer. Berries, blueberries, mm. raspberries, strawberries. Strawberries have something called elagic acid, cuts off the blood supply to tumors. This is all based on actually research I did right. years ago with the National Cancer Institute where we were studying things to cut off the blood supply for breasts and other cancers with drugs. And when we threw a strawberry yeah. extract in there, boom, like we got a score. We hit a home run. That's crazy. And so wow. these are not replacements for your doctor, your oncologist, and not for drug therapy or women's right. health specialists. But these are things that you can do for yourself that's part of health care. You go to the doctor for sick care, all right? That's how our system is set up. When you go home from the doctor's office, then it switches over to health care. We take care of ourselves. This is how Love the food in our own toolbox for ourselves. Green tea cuts off the blood supply mm. to breast cancer. And by the way, matcha, which is the mm. specific kind of green tea. Do you, have you had matcha? Do you like matcha? Yeah, I don't like the taste of it. But every time I go out to a, like, you know, I live near Air One, which is a really fancy supermarket. I want a okay. matcha drink. I just haven't right. fallen in right. love with it. Maybe, maybe, this will, maybe this will influence your thinking about it a little bit. Green tea is good for you. And green tea, when you steep a cup of green tea, the polyphenols, the catechins that are naturally present in tea leaves float out because of the hot water into the brew. And then you're sipping mm. the brew and you're actually getting the catechins, the polyphenols in your body. They cut off the blood supply to cancer, all right? That's very, very okay. clear. Now, but you don't get all the catechins out of the, the tea leaves because, well, you're just soaking. There's still some left. You know how in a sponge, yeah. if you just put a sponge in a bucket and fill up the bucket. And even if you empty all the water, the sponge is still going to have some stuff in it, some water in it. You got to squeeze it out, yep. right? So nobody squeezes out all the catechins from their tea leaves when you brew a cup of tea. However, there is something different about matcha. Matcha is green tea, mm. regular green tea, okay. except about 28 days before they harvest it, they put a shade over it. And that actually causes more polyphenols to be produced. So all Amazing. by itself, there's more polyphenols, more catechins in matcha, just by putting a little covering over it. Then when they harvest it, they harvest it very carefully. Then they, unlike regular tea, which is just drying the tea leaves here and then, and then selling it here, they dry the tea leaves, the whole leaf, and then they pulverize it into a fine powder. So mm. now you get 100% of the polyphenols in the tea you leaf the in matcha. Yeah. And you get the dietary fiber from the leaf itself. You got the oh, polyphenols, amazing. you got the dietary fiber, you got everything. There's nothing left behind in a tea bag, nothing left behind. It's all there, which is why okay, a cup of matcha it. is really, really dense green. You can't see through it. All right. No. Um, and in fact, you whisk it to mix it up and you sip it. And I can tell you, it's really amazing because you get a lot more polyphenol, a lot more cancer starving stuff out of out of matcha than you do a cup of green tea. Yeah. And then if you put soy milk in it, like a good high quality soy milk. Now you've stacked it uh, in your favor and you've got the dietary fiber from matcha that actually stimulates your gut microbiome. So now you're lowering yep. the inflammation. And there's one last thing that I didn't tell you yet. The last thing about matcha, and this was based on research done by scientists in England, they found that matcha can actually kill breast cancer stem cells. Oh, wow. Now, what's a, what's a cancer stem cell? Listen, we're, we're all made of stem cells. Like when our dad's sperm met our mom's egg, we're a little ball of cells. Our stem cells are what allowed us to grow a face, ears, heart, lung, 
fingertips, toenails. All right. So we were all formed out of stem cells, but when we were actually formed and born, all the other stem cells got stored away to repair and re regenerate mm -hmm. ourselves over the course of our lives when we need to. Now, when cancers form, that mutation where you got the bad guy forming, if it turns into a tumor, that one centimeter tumor, a billion cancer cells, a one centimeter cancer, the smallest one you can feel, a billion cancer cells in it, is already fed by 100 million blood vessel cells. Oh my gosh, this, wow. This is why the point you made, Mindy, earlier is so important. Let's prevent it in the first place. Let's right, stop yeah. those blood vessels from forming. Let's shore up the immune yeah. system. These are simple steps that can actually be taken by healthy people. And if you have Amazing. cancer, now's the time to, you know, hubba hubba and get with it because this is not something your oncologist is going to be doing for you. This is something you're going to be doing yes. for yourself. And then the researchers that you found that you see what happens is that after you completely treat breast cancer, right? The women who are in remission, you know, thank God I'm in remission, right? The five year mark. Unfortunately, about 20% of people who are in remission over five years comes back. Mm. Where the heck did that come from? How did that cancer come back? Well, it turns out that cancers also develop stem cells mm. and they can renew themselves. Now we know this occurs in breasts and other cancers. We don't have a medicine that can treat cancer stem cells. There's nothing. I mean, I can tell you as somebody who's, you know, de doing therapeutic development for cancer, we ain't got nothing for that. Guess what? Mother Nature already beat us to the punch because matcha of course she did. can actually kill breast cancer stem cells. Amazing, right? I'm so convinced. next time you go to your uh, yes, I'm sushi totally bar, convinced. Yeah, I'm totally convinced.